Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. Today we're going to be speaking about a beautiful idea. We have to realize that a lot of things are happening in the world. It may not seem beautiful at first, but the essence of it is very beautiful because it's, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Basically, a lot of things are happening in the world right now. There's a lot of very intense events taking place in the world. And things are moving very quickly. And what are they moving towards? They're moving towards Mashiach, to the, towards the days of the Messianic era. And what is going on in the world? There are a lot of events that are taking place within the world that are accelerating this process. Whether it's what's going on, the wars going on, whether it's the wars with Russia and Ukraine, whether it's the state of the economy and, and whatnot, whether it's, you know, Right here, what's going on in the Holy Land with the government, the new government forming and all the the events taking place with, with the other countries that are threatening the Holy Land and all the different things that are taking place. Of course, we, you know, it's it's the tragedies that take place and the people that are the people that are suffering as a result of it, of course, our heart hurts for them, and we pray that immediately God will bring Mashiv and bring peace. So of course the suffering of it hurts us. So what do we mean the essence of it? We have to realize that everything that is happening in the world is, the, um, is, is, is from the Almighty. That we, there's actually a creator in this world. That things are not accidental. Rather, there's a master behind it all running the show. And yes, human beings, we all have free will. But at the end of the day, God uses people's free will to maneuver and to, to perpetuate his plan. To cause his plan to come into fruition. So what we have to do, what our part, what this is all about, my friends, because things are moving quickly, events, Hashem is hastening the coming of Mashiach, Hashem is, is making very intense events take place around the world in order to bring people to, 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 to acknowledge Him, to acknowledge that there is a master and there is a plan and we need to get on board. So what can we do? Because we said we have free will, but Hashem's running the show. So we have to take our free will and be involved, be on Hashem's side, not against it, God forbid. And how do we do this? Very simple. If you're a Jewish person, you do this by following the Torah, by following the, the 613 mitzvot and all the, and the seven rabbinical mitzvot and all the rabbinical mitzvot as well, minhagim and the customs, and being a good person and being kind to your fellow and to search for Hashem in your life, everywhere around you, to, to search for the Almighty, to follow as well. And share, of course, share this message with others. Share like this. this share, share your relationship with Hashem with others. Give others the awareness of God. Talk to them. Speak to them about Hashem. Make them aware of the Almighty. And if you're not Jewish, if you're a righteous Gentile, you do it by, by being exactly that, by being a righteous Gentile, by, by following the seven laws of Noah, seven laws of Noah, the Noahide laws, and all of their details, and, and searching for the Almighty in your life, and bringing the, the Almighty into your life, and bringing this message to others. So that is how, literally, how we get involved in this, in this, in this situation. That all of these events that are taking place, and of course, we pray for all those who are suffering. But we, we realize that our actions, our positive deeds, sweeten this process entirely. That we, when when a when a Jewish person does a mitzvah, goodness comes into the world. God brings more goodness into the world and brings us closer to the messianic era. When God forbid a person sins, they they they. they they kind of remove goodness, God forbid, from this world. Of course, Hashem is always kind, always here. Hashem is infinitely good. But the question is, where are we? Are we attached to that goodness, or are we separate, separating ourselves from it, God forbid? So that's the question we all have to ask, our, ask ourselves. And we have to realize that all these events are really an exciting thing because Hashem is hastening the, Mashiach, the Messianic era. And that all these events, things are moving very quickly, and we got to hold on tight because think about what's going on now and how much and more intense it can be. For example, the wars that are going on. There's two main countries fighting, but there's many countries behind the scenes involved that this is escalating. I pray that full peace was restored, but not just peace between these countries, entirely peace between the whole world, which will be marked by the coming of Sheikh. So we have to see all these events and we have to use the, the our, our eyes, not our physical eyes, but the eyes of our mind to decipher and to recognize the Almighty's hand in all of this, the Almighty's presence in everything. To realize that Hashem is good and He wants a relationship with us. This is something very exciting. So I think we should take this into our hearts and we should live with this. We should share this message with all. Thank you so much. May the Almighty bless you. You can like, share, comment, subscribe, and support us.